Hey, what up guys? Jay Hill here with another episode of the Hardcore Challenge. We're on to episode six. Now the last episode, I uh, didn't go quite as well as we planned, but it's just a way of Tarkov, uh, as we all know. It's definitely a game of a lot of ups and a lot of downs. So it's just going to happen from time to time that you know, you're not gonna have as good. Um, I think we got out of one raid. It's been a couple days, but uh, I think we got out of one raid out of that, um, out of quite a few. But I know that we still have the, the ultra key. I really, really want to go and uh, get some stuff out of there. Maybe a Lennox. Um, it isn't really super, super important at this point because um, we're not really super geared. And that is the hottest spot of the map with tech light and ultra medical room right there, right next to each other. So I, we might not do that this one. I think I want to if, if I get some good armor, some good gear we'll probably go and make a run for it. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead. Let's hop into some raids here and uh, hopefully it goes a lot better too. All right, so first thing here, let's go ahead and make a loadout. I think it's eight of these I need for an MP5. Do I have another one? Oh, we just need one more. All right, hmm. And we don't really have much good gun choices here. Bring this AKM in, but we only have the 15 bullets that's in it. We don't have any pistol ammo. There's another mag, but I don't have any bullets for it. I think this is what we have to do. I could get an ADAR. That's probably my best bet. Let me go grab an ADAR real quick. Can you skier? Yep. That only has 10 bullets in it too. Son of a gun, I thought it was gonna be 30. I don't know why I thought that. I definitely thought wrong. Whatever, dude, we're doing it. Okay, so we have the ADAR. Throw on this little armor. Put that on there just so we can grab some things. And we don't have any ammo in any of that. We There's no ammo in the gun. So when you buy the gun, it doesn't come with ammo when you trade for it. That's rough. That's real, real rough. Okay, so just in case we start bleeding. Hmm. In case we need to run. All right, so put both those there. And we're gonna need a, a good up. Um. I think my best survival chance with this gun is probably customs. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing it. Alrighty, here we go. So, interesting spawn. We actually do need that uh, light bulb. Paracord? We're really gonna need the paracord for a while. Gas analyzer, we definitely need that. I personally don't really know what else to loot in there. And I don't think the hardcore series is a good time to test that out, figure it out. <laughs> Metal cutting scissors, we will need those. Need that duct tape. Bandages are always nice. TP. And a pistol. Um hmm. Nearly full of ammo there. Alright, let's go in here and see if we can find a factory key. Tricky. Find another weapon, maybe? The 
red gunpowder. Yeah, we're not gonna need that paracord unless we get a red rebel. We are a long, long way from getting a red rebel. Very long way. Just looking for flash drives, so it's a flash drive. Doors are both closed. We can take that as long as shoot. Okay. No, nope, we don't have room for. the jacket from there. Alright, let's see what we find in here. Really only looking for keys at this point. We do need bolts. This can get me armor, so I really want to keep that. That's a shuss. I'm a ways away from needing shuss. Um, okay, we'll just leave that the way that is. Lot of tool stuff in here. Med bag is always a good one to hit. Oh man, what am I gonna drop? That that's a grizzly. I definitely need those items. I don't think I need the metal uh the cutting scissors for a while. Let's swap that for that. Um Splint would actually be this actually can get rid of the splint. Okay, we're just gonna rock with a grizzly for a little while. This is my healing. How does that sound? Key spawn over here, or no, not key. Weapon stuff. A nice scope. This has ammo in it. Um, okay, we're gonna drop that for now. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of ammo in it. I need to find more AKs. I literally don't have any AKs. I think we just leave the bandy behind. where we want to be. Don't really need food and water, but we'll go over here anyways. Take the long way around. Just in case there's a sniper scav. Don't really want to run into him right now. gonna search all this stuff while we can. None of this stuff can go on either of my guns though. These aren't really moddable guns. The AKM needs a completely different uh what's it called? A handguard? Stock? It needs a lot of a lot of different things to be really that moddable. The the basic one. This this bad boy. Can't really put much on it.
earring, another bandy, and some cloth. We're not really going to need the cloth. All right. So I think we're going to hug the edge of the map here. I'm really just either looking for easy picks or a dead body or something. So I, I really want another gun. Preferably something of the AK variety that shoots this uh, ammo that we just picked up. Because I also have 7 and 39. So I actually have some pretty good AK ammo. Just don't have an AK. Obviously, I have this AK, but this one shoots the uh, uh, different ammo. I think I only have PS in this, too. Yeah, about half. I'd be very surprised if I had found BP. <laughs> you just don't run into BP that often. Obviously, unless you kill a player. Search it just in case we can find something useful in here. Grenade. Ammo. My goodness, guys. Okay. So we got a ton of ammo. Um, I want to throw this. So we definitely want that ammo. We want the BS over the BP. Um, I guess we're going to take the BP too. Getting a Val would be really nice, but I don't have a Val, and I don't really want to give up anything else I have. Really just hoping that we can get an AK. Been a little bit since I checked my trades, but there is a trade for an AK, I believe, and I don't remember what it is. Alright. So getting close to dorms here, this is obviously the hottest spot one of the hottest spots on the map door is open we're just gonna hug this tree line and just kind of listen See if we can see anything. Not really anything going on out here. Take a little bit slow. Oh great, it's starting to rain. Gives me a little bit of coverage of noise. Well, I guess not really on the inside. The inside people don't really hear the rain. Alright, so this vehicle is already gone. So somebody came and dipped already out of there. Which isn't a bad sign. At least we know that at least one person is out of the map already. Probably got into a fight. Maybe not. But it definitely means that dorms is probably looted and other people know that. So probably not going there. So I can probably run a little bit. 
Again, we're just looking for a quick scab kill. We could, should be getting up to hopefully a scab up here. I get killed by people sitting over here all the time, so we're gonna check it. And do we see fire smoke? Oh, we do, okay. So we got an extract here, we don't have to cross. We're not leaving without another gun though. We do have a lot of really good items, we could just get out. But, I'm gonna get a little bit greedy here. Right there's my, right there's my scav. All right, we're gonna go run, we're gonna take this guy's gun, and then dip. Take his pom-pom, his vest, and... And we're out. Okay. So that should have gave me a decent amount of ammo, too, actually. Oh, shoot. What is this? I'm going to get out of the uh, sun. I'm going to check make sure it's not in my container. It's not. Okay, so it's in the vest. All right, we're just going to go. PSR or PRS ammo isn't very good, but it's better than no ammo. You want to wiggle a little bit when you're here. All right. Not a bad raid. Not a bad raid at all. We didn't kill anybody. <laughs> In fact, we didn't see a soul. We saw traces uh, with doors open. Uh, you know, the, the vehicle extract gone, but most importantly, we didn't get a run through and good, good chunk of XP. So I believe that this is going to give me more ammo for sure. We got a flash drive, which we will need for a quest. We got a gas analyzer, which we need for a quest. Light bulb, which we need for the hideout. We got a grizzly to heal. Oh, this is going to... What type of ammo is this? Ah, okay. So I was thinking that it was this one. Because I saw the gun and I saw the magazines laying on the ground. I thought it was this type of a gun. But it's not. Um, We got a ton of ammo, though. Keep all of our ammo, get our gas analyzer, flash drive, light bulb. We're probably just going to run around. Yeah, shoot, okay. I was hoping that that would work. Um. Oh, does it go in here though? It does. Sweet, okay. So that's that's good. We got We got something back up there and we have an MP5. I don't know if the MP5 is going to have any ammo in it though. Um, let's just trade it and see where it goes. It does. Okay. That's really nice then. Because that's a really easy trade to make. Um, so we definitely want to keep the Grizzly rolling. That's going to be our way of healing. I think we swap out the guns. I think we just use this one. Since we have the extra clip. But where do we go? You want to know what? I'm going to risk it really quick. I take this gun in there and say that we're going to get... We're going to do better. We'll keep this armor on. It doesn't really matter. We'll keep this just in case we need a vest. For reloading and such. Um, Alright, we're going to do a factory run. Alright, let's go. All right, so as always, we hope we don't have the spawn that pins us in the back. Yes, we're right next to it, but we can run out of here. Got a wrench.
Alright. So. Kill the scaff. I never heard this door open though, so I think we're fine here. Where is he running to? Let's see if we hear that infamous. There's a the crash, cr glass crunch. He's going right up the stairs. Right? We're just listening. Factory is a game with your ears. So we got no player scabs should be in yet. Salava. That's literally right next to me. We're gonna go back to this corner. Dude, he is just talking right to me. me. <laughs> Just go upstairs and fight the guy already, please, Scav? Please. I don't want to give away that I'm here yet. I really need a factory key. If I had a factory key, I could just kill him and just jet straight up. He leave? I think he left. Make sure I don't need to examine this. I don't. Eight by five isn't butthole by any means. How does he have troop armor already? Jeez, please. Dude, all those magazines are empty, aren't they? Son of a gun, dude.
I think I might just go. Nope, that's what it was. I just had to examine it. I wish I could take both of those. Upgrade an armor. It's not a bad <laughs> run at all. And I literally only killed one scav. So that was huge. That was actually really, really massive. Um, I literally wasted one bullet and got all of that. So... We do have the shotgun magazines too, which is kind of nice in case we get a saga. So first things first, we unload that. What does it mean you can't find this? Oh, okay. Give me one second here. We gotta do all this crap. Okay. Throw that one in there. So now we have two functioning ADARs. Oh, I can put a scope on that one too, because it has the right uh, stock. We got a pretty decent armor. We got a mustache, thank the Lord. Headphones, cutter, ammo for the cutter. These things are kind of meh. The 5.7 is actually going to be really, really nice. I might. There's something in there. Do I make a quick 5-7 run? Alright, I'm running low on sp space here now. Alright, gotta do a little bit of management. Alright, so you can put this down here. We got this axe, which actually could be handy later um, if we run out of guns again. Okay. Um. I think this is what I want to do. Is I really need a 133 shotgun still. And Slua, dude. Why don't I have Slua's yet? Um, I can craft them. I don't remember what I need to craft them. Is it an army bandage? It's a regular bandage, painkillers, and a splint. Didn't I pick up that one splint? So regular bandage, painkillers. Must have dropped it. All right, so I need painkillers, regular bandage, painkillers, and splints. And then there, I believe there is a trade in here for an AK. Oh, horse figurines. Okay, so I would need to hit saves, essentially, to get those. Which I would need keys to be able to get the saves, and I don't have any keys for any saves. Um... Honestly, I'm kind of feeling just running into the factory again, but I know I don't really have a bunch of space So I might actually just do this I'll Put this back on We're gonna want to throw those for strength Yeah, we'll just put that on what do you mean? Oh, there we go <laughs> 
Hmm. I think I I think I'll just run this really quick. And let's go to You wanna know what? No, nah, we're gonna we're gonna just gonna factory it. This is gonna be the last rate of the episode. It's cause we're getting pretty close to time. So I think that that's gonna make my decision to just factory it. And we're gonna throw these flashbangs too. So let's go ahead and hop in. All right, fingers crossed for not the crappy spawn. Any demo? There we go. And we got the crappy spawn. Okay. So we're gonna make a move here. How did he know I was there? That's kind of suspect. We're going to report that one. The VOG. He's a VOG gamer too. So, all right. Well, that was actually really, really quick. Um, but we are going to wrap up this episode there. Um, so I want to get into a nice long raid for the next one. So we will see you in a couple days.